Hello guys, this is a lecture on how to find deflection of cantilever beam using double integration method. Example, find the value of deflection at point A in the figure shown. Solution, for reactions, we have RC is equal to 1,200 pounds. Then, yung moment sa point C is equal to 8,400 pounds feet. Consider segment AB. So, cut natin malapit sa point B with corresponding X distance from point A. Then, we have bending moment. So, for segment AB, using equilibrium equation, so we have M is equal to EI Y double prime is equal to negative 200 times X times X over 2. Or, is equal to negative 100 X squared. Then, divide natin yung I. AY double prime is equal to negative 100 over 40 times x squared or is equal to negative 2.5 x squared then integrate natin no? using power formula ay prime is equal to negative 2.5 over 3 x raised to 3 plus C1. So, this is equation number 1. Now, for the deflection, AY is equal to negative 2.5 over 12 times x to the fourth plus C1x plus C2. So, this is equation number 2. Consider segment BC. So, cut natin malapit sa point C with corresponding X distance from point A. Then, we have bending moment. Then, 1,200 pounds yung resultant ng uh, uniform load. So, we have X minus 3. Take note. By segment method, no need to extend the uniform distributed load. For segment BC, using equilibrium equation, so we have M is equal to EI Y double prime is equal to negative 1200 times X minus 3. Or, distribute natin is equal to negative 1,200 times x plus 3,600. Then, divide natin yung i sa segment BC. So, AY double prime is equal to negative 1,200 over 80 times x plus 3,600 over 80. Or, AY double prime is equal to negative 15X plus 45. Then, integrate natin using power formula. Uh, for slope, we have AY prime is equal to negative 15 over 2 times X squared plus 45X plus C3. So, this is equation number 3. Then, for deflection, AY is equal to negative 15 over 6 times X raised to 3 plus 45 over 2 times X squared plus C3 times X plus C4. So, this is equation 
number 4. Summary natin. For segment AB, when x is greater than or equal to 0 or less than or equal to 6 feet. So we have equation 1 and equation 2. For segment BC, when x is greater than or equal to 6 feet or less than or equal to 10 feet. So we have equation 3 and 4. So, solve for constant C1, C2, C3, and C4. At point C, when x is equal to 10 feet, y c prime natin is equal to 0. Consider segment BC, meron tayong equation number 3. So, since 0 yung slope sa point C, so we have 0. Then, solve for C3. So, 0 is equal to negative 15 over 2 times 10 squared plus 45 times 10 plus C3. C3 is equal to 300. At point C, when X is equal to 10 feet, YC is equal to 0. Consider segment BC, mayroon tayong equation number 4. So, since 0 yung deflection sa point, sa point C, so, we have 0. Solve for C4. So, 0 is equal to negative 15 over 6 times 10 raised to 3 plus 45 over 2 times 10 squared plus C3 or 300 times 10 plus C4. C4 is equal to negative 2750. At point B, by principle, kailangan na equal yung deflection sa kanan at sa kaliwa. Ganon din ang slope. So, we have YBR is equal to YBL. Or, YBR prime is equal to YBL prime. At point B, when X is equal to 6 feet, Yung YBR prime natin is equal to YBL prime. Use equation number 1 and 3. So, sa segment AB, so we have equation number 1. Sa segment BC, meron tayong equation number 3. Equate equation number 1 and 3. So, we have negative 2.5 over 3 times X raised to 3 plus C1 is equal to negative 15 over 2 times x squared plus 45 times x plus c3. So, since yung x is equal to 6 feet, so we have negative 2.5 over 3 times 6 raised to 3 plus c1 is equal to negative 15 over 2 times 6 squared plus 45 times 6 plus C3 or 300. Ang C1 is equal to 480. At point B, when X is equal to 6 feet, YBR is equal to YBL. Use equation number 2 and 4. So, sa segment AB, we have equation 2. Then, sa segment BC, meron tayong equation number 4. Equate equation 2 and 4. So, we have negative 2.5 over 12 times x to the 4th plus c1 times x plus c2 is equal to negative 15 over 6 times x raised to 3 plus 45 over 2 times x squared plus c3 times x plus c4. So, since yung x is equal to 6 feet, so we have uh, 2.5 over 12 times 6 to the 4th plus C1 or 480 times 6 plus C2 
is equal to negative 15 over 6 times 6 raised to 3 plus 45 over 2 times 6 raised to 2 plus C3 or 300 times 6 minus C4 or 2750 or yung C2 is equal to negative 3290 now for the summary of constants C1 is equal to 480 C2 is equal to negative 3290 C3 is equal to 300 then ang C4 is equal to negative 2750 now solve for the required at point A when x is equal to 0 so deflection at point A is unknown use equation number 2 so since yung x is equal to 0 so, the first term and second term is equal to 0. So, AYA is equal to C2 or is equal to negative 3,290 pounds feet raised to 3 over inch to the fourth. Or, deflection at point A is equal to 3,290 times 12 raised to 3. So, conversion factor natin, over 10 times 10 to the power of 6. Or, deflection at point A is equal to 0.569 inch, so downward. Huh? So, this is the final answer. Now, for the references, 